Let's bring in Omar Samad, non-resident senior fellow with the Atlantic Council's South Asia Center. He also served as Afghanistan's ambassador to France and Canada. Um, ambassador, thank you so much for joining us. We know that for decades, China has maintained communications and, and a type of relationship with Taliban leaders. Wang Yi met with Taliban, uh, Taliban delegation earlier this summer in China. So how does each side view each other, especially right now? Well, I think um, as of today, uh, we might expect uh, a bit of an evolution in, in relations, not only between China and the Taliban, but also uh, between the Taliban and uh, all of Afghanistan's immediate neighbors, as well as some in the region. But in the case of China and, uh, and, uh, and the Taliban, as you said, they have had several years of contact. They, they have gotten to know each other well. They've talked about several key issues. On the Chinese side, obviously, the, the issue of the ETIM, as was just mentioned in your report, uh, is of importance. Uh, they are uh, concerned, and they expect the Taliban to deliver on that count. And the Taliban uh, have given assurances that they will not allow any uh, international uh, and transnational uh, terrorist group from operating in Afghanistan, including al-Qaeda and ETIM. Uh, then there are other issues, obviously, that have to do with uh, relations on the economic scale, uh, how CPEC through Pakistan, as far as BRI, uh, is going to connect to Afghanistan in the future, the interest that China has in certain Afghan minerals. Uh, obviously, all of that has to come in due time. Right now, uh, the major concern for the Taliban is to form a government that is a, uh, going to be acceptable not only to most Afghans, but also to most of the international community, and to deal with the very immediate, urgent needs uh, in terms of economic uh, depression that is taking place, as well as humanitarian needs of the Afghan people. What kind of timeline are we talking about there? Are you thinking it's months, uh, years? And if it gets to that point, do you think China will recognize a Taliban government? And how important would that be? for the Taliban's legitimacy to others in the international community? Well, legitimacy is a priority issue for the Taliban, has to be. Uh, and I don't think it's going to take much, uh, meaning that the Taliban have to move quickly. Uh, they are having discussions in Kandahar, in Kabul, amongst themselves, as well as with other Afghan political leaders. Uh, we have to wait and see the next few days what happens when the Taliban leadership decides whether to have a broad-based govern government or, or a monopoly, uh, and how to incorporate other communities in the governance structures, and how to govern. So all of these, obviously, uh, are issues that will take a few days at least. I don't expect it to take uh, longer than a few weeks. You mentioned um, China and its security concerns. Obviously, China still has several citizens inside the country. It's keeping its embassy there. Um, and we do know that there are other groups working against the Taliban inside the country. And China does want to make sure that no violence spills across into its borders. So how would the Taliban work with China to make sure um, to keep the security situation safe and stable? Well, beyond what has been said, I think that um, once the Chinese government uh, decides to recognize the Taliban uh, as a, 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 a legitimate government, then uh, they will have to sit down and talk about bilateral relations. And uh, on the security front, the security officials will have to meet and discuss what the, what the threat uh, assessment is like, uh, what is expected of the Taliban, what can the Taliban deliver, what do the Taliban need? in terms of maybe technical assistance, uh, which was the case in the past with the U.S. and NATO and others. And China and the previous government also had some uh, arrangements uh, in the northeastern of Afghanistan with the Chinese border, where the Chinese were actually helping with the training of Afghan forces. So all of these issues are going to be back on the table, and the, Ch the Chinese will make sure that the Taliban understand what their needs are, and the Taliban obviously will have to ask China for any type of assistance that may be needed.